I have been using this soldering iron now long enough that I feel like I can do a video uh, about it for you. Uh, the deal with this soldering iron is that it is $17, <laughs> so it's cheap, and it has a proper temperature control. And I'll tell you why I think that's a good thing. Uh, before I got this soldering iron, I was using this one. And this is a fine soldering iron at, at only $8. I can heartily recommend it. Uh, I know some of you guys out there with proper soldering stations are shaking your head. And I got to tell you, I'm sure I would be thrilled with a $90 soldering station, you know. But $90, $8, it's 10 times as much. Is it 10 times better? I get done what I need to get done with something like this. Uh, this is this is a 60 watt iron, and I used to think that you needed a lot of heat to do some of these bigger joints, you know, like 10 gauge wire on an XT60 connector or something like that. Uh, and I learned that the problem was not that I didn't have enough heat, but that my I was using the wrong soldering iron tips. So if you have a thicker tip, you know, like a chisel tip, or even just a thicker pencil tip, uh, you'll find that it'll hold the heat better, and it'll transfer the heat better because there's more surface area and you can do just fine with 60 watts. But the problem with this iron is that it's just constant 60 watts, so if you leave it sitting on the table, it will overheat. And it doesn't heat up very fast, okay? So uh, because I would sometimes leave it sitting on the table, it, it, I would scorch the tip, and uh, then the tip gets oxidized, the protective coating on the tip burns off, and then, it, then you're basically done. And at that point, you gotta buy replacement tips, and the problem is, the replacement tip set for this, uh, I don't have it here, so I'm not going to go digging for it and waste your time, but it's like it's like 20 bucks. And I'm like, well, shoot, I could just buy a brand new iron for 7 bucks and get a new tip and a new iron, you know? And then I started looking around, and I said, well, for $17, I'll give this one a try, because, right, how could you go wrong? Uh, and the nice thing is that because it's temperature controlled, it will not just sit there and burn the tip if you're not using it, you can set it down and walk away for a minute and, and it'll just maintain, it has a th thermocouple in it. And so if the tip starts to get too hot, it'll turn off the heat. And if the tip gets cold, it'll turn the heat on. It heats up in about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. It heats up pretty quickly. Uh, the tips that it's got, I, I would say I've used them long enough to be able to say how good they are, you know, because of course every tip is good the first time you use it, hopefully. But they haven't, they're not, they're not total junk. Right. They haven't just they've lasted, you know, a few weeks. Uh, once I <laughs> once I turned the heat down, I had the heat turned way. I was like, why am I constantly oxidizing my tips and having to clean them? And I had the heat turned up way too high. Uh, so once you dial in the heat, it's it's pretty decent. Uh, and I've, I like the variety of tips it comes with. Uh, and and what can I say? Uh, it, it works. It works. Uh, heats up quickly. Doesn't doesn't scorch the tips if you set it down for a second. I'll tell you, one thing I don't like about it is it's kind of small, and the guard here for your hand isn't as big as it could be. If you look at this one, it's not clear the scale, but this one is is bigger and has a bigger guard. A couple times I've grabbed this one, and my finger has sort of got wandered, and I've touched the hot part just, just slightly, so I have to be a little careful. And the other thing that's a little annoying is if you don't hold it just right, it's kind of easy to accidentally nudge the temperature control. So once I once I get the temperature dialed in, I kind of use the same temperature for everything. I don't know if you do, but I might like to just sort of maybe put a, put some tape over that or something to hold it in place. I don't know. Uh, but I think if you're cheap like me and you, you want something that is temperature controlled, so it's not just scorching your tips and it heats up faster than, than $8, you could, uh, you could spend $17 here and uh and give it a go uh and of course if you have a 90 dollars soldering station this still might be the kind of thing you would throw in your in your kit to take to the field or something like that or if you're traveling you want to help somebody out this is still worth having in your kit uh throw away the solder that comes with it i have no idea i think it's probably lead free don't use lead free solder use leaded solder it li live a little right <laughs> but the tips that come with it are nice and the, and the soldering iron is nice okay uh, I'm going to put an affiliate link down in the video description. If you decide to buy this or if you decide to buy anything from Amazon uh, and you use my affiliate link, I will get a small percentage of your purchase. Uh, and that's very helpful. Of course, I like it. Uh, that's it. Hope this is helpful. Happy flying.